Hello everyone, I'm Normulator, and welcome back to more Imperator Rome. This is our Rise of Sicily campaign, and boy have things gotten interesting. We uh, find ourselves in a war with Macedon, and I'm not 100% sure how it happened. I'm not sure if I missed a notification, or something just triggered, or I, I don't know. I must have clicked something and not realized it. But, we, uh, we have wrapped up our uh, campaign to grab a bunch of feudatories. It was very successful, and uh, after uh, taking a look around, I did notice a couple things. I did notice that we are definitely not the aggressor in this war. I didn't accidentally hit too many buttons and go to war with them. Uh, a couple reasons I know that. First of all, our aggressive expansion is continuing to drop, meaning we are not an aggressor in a war, because if you are an aggressor in a war, then your aggressive expansion does not have a natural monthly decay. Um, so that's one thing, and also... Uh, if we were, if we had declared on them, uh, you can see here that they're actually guaranteed by the Seleucid Empire, and so that would mean the Seleucid Empire would be in this war as well. And as it turns out, uh, it is just the Macedonians against us. So then you have to ask yourself, how exactly did this happen? Because I, I can't tell for sure if it happened before. The end of our war after but the war goal itself if you take a look here uh i think if you go in here and uh hover over uh, hover over here i think yes uh the war is fought over take dendaria so dendaria is actually this guy right here and so they've declared war to take dendaria and so we are not defending that because they are our feudatory. What is weird though is that we only have four. There's there's four people essentially quote unquote on our side. So I don't know if the war was before we took them and then now like there's a bunch of people on our side of the war that aren't actually our allies. And a bunch of our and a bunch of our actual um, feudatories are not actually involved in the in the war, so I don't really know uh, exactly what's happened. I don't really know how exactly it happened, but um, overall, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the Macedonians by themselves have 58 cohorts and 42,000 manpower. We have 115 cohorts and uh, close to 60,000 manpower. Now, that being said, uh, 115 manpower also includes 26,000 keeping the peace and another 25,000 led by a disloyal general. So really, you can shave uh, another 50,000 off of our number and we're really more like 65. That being said, still a pretty good number. We're, we're in pretty good shape and uh, we shouldn't have too much trouble. Doing some damage. It wasn't expecting to be at war here, but uh, at war we are. Uh, Macedon is getting main power at a rate of 668 currently. Um, but they're also losing to attrition. As of right now, they're losing 800 men to attrition. So they're actually going to have a negative overall impact uh, currently. Uh, for us, uh, we gained 7 to 18. So we're actually gaining at a higher rate. Uh, but we are taking a little bit of attrition, um, which we can uh, hopefully... Uh, negate as we move forward here uh these guys are in the wrong spot we need to get them out of there uh we do want to basically we have no way uh, other than to just come down through this path and, and maybe get to these mountain passes and cover here maybe our allies will come and do some stuff i don't know how i call my allies into the war i i, I looked and i could not it's not giving me away maybe if i press play and and let some time roll maybe a monthly tick will allow me to do some operations but we don't really have a way to get into the north uh, because even if we got access for these guys, which we can't currently, um, access options, uh, we would need to improve relations with them and stuff in order to get that. But even if we got it, we still wouldn't be able to get to these guys um, who also are not a fan of giving it to us. That being said, um, we don't really need it because we should be able to do some damage through here. And uh, what would be really nice is if we could take maybe a couple provinces in here and um get them to drop these guys as a uh a guarantee if you will so that these guys are by themselves um then we could take these guys uh without having to worry about them 
So we could have, you know, a couple provinces here, then take these guys, and we have a nice beachhead to finish off the Macedonians. Because um, if you take a quick look here, these guys have some really nice land. Uh, like lots of freemen and citizens in through here, like tons of freemen and citizens uh, all over. Like they have almost no tribes, and it's like freemen and citizens for days. Um, you know, they have like, look at the, like almost like they've created manpower centers in here. It's insane. Um, you know, they've got some markets and some and some good spots. Like, they're really good. And you can tell they've done well because they actually have really good tech. They actually have better tech than Macedonia, slightly. And uh, not all that far from the tech that we have. So, taking them down and getting their land would be a really nice uh, boon for us. Technology speaking, we're eh, a little bit low to 200%, uh, which would be nice to get there. We did lose our extra iron because we were getting that from... The Macedonians, and of course, they're not going to want to uh, give us iron. So, uh, we are hurting a little bit there. Uh, one thing I was thinking about doing was taking a quick look for iron uh, on our lands and seeing if we can get people moved around um, to create another uh, access to another copy. And I think uh, we may actually have a spot. Right here. If we put one more in there, we'll have access to another one. And so we actually have horses in there. Where do we put horses there? Yeah, we have two extra, two extra horses there. Um, so if we move a slave anywhere, from anywhere to here, which is Caress, then that should be an extra iron, right? Yes, it is. So then we come back to our capital and trade route. And we have access to this iron right here. And now, when you come in here, we once again are getting the surplus iron and the surplus horses, giving us that extra 10%. Um, another thing that we could actually potentially do is eventually when we get the uh, civic power is getting another 30 in there. Uh, to get extra access to iron, and then if we could uh, ever export that extra one, then we would be able to uh, we would be able to get an extra five percent discipline. It does look like we have a lot of guys around. It's really just about getting the civics, and we can definitely get that extra iron going. So that's something that we should keep in mind. So uh, let's just take a quick look, uh, strategically speaking, at what we want to do. I think absolutely no doubt in my mind. There's uh, three heavy cavalry sitting here, which we should be able to hit pretty hard. Um, so I'm going to actually, hand, even though they're on a hill, uh, what I might actually do is have these guys start moving. And we'll hit them both. Um, and maybe line up both of them hitting them and uh, potentially getting a stack white. I do want to move our ships over here, get rid of this these uh, pirates. And clean up that shoreline. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and press play. I'm gonna crank it down to three, and see if we can't. Supply limits are tough through here, so it's hard not to take some attrition. But um, pause. We are actually got a 16k stack right there. I don't think if we rush that we could get out, but I'm going to check and see. Uh, August 10th. Yeah, we don't even come close. They, those guys were already on their way to that spot. Uh, so these guys here, I'm going to have actually get on Force March, see if they can get there in time to become a factor. These guys are going to go to Force March and 100% get there as fast as they can. The 25th, they get in the 10th. We do have them on general by quite a bit. We've, they're going to be hitting us in a forest, so we'll get a bonus on that as well. And, uh, yeah, have you, we should, I mean, it looks like we're definitely going to win, but it'd be nice to win by a lot. Um, these guys have good morale. Let's get everybody moving forward. Uh, into positions where they can, they can begin to help us. Um, and press play. Pause for a sec. We've got them immediately on the 
on the morale. Uh, tactically speaking, it's an even Steven. What is our uh, religion? We are on research points, so we're not getting any extra uh, discipline from our... Okay. We're holding them off strong. Um, we will get some help here shortly. Which should be able to... Yeah, we're taking some hits there on some bad rolls. There we go. Oh, that's not it. Uh, we've got some extra buds in there now. And we're starting to deal a little bit more damage. We're not getting much luck on the rolls. It was pretty much an even battle, which, which we can live with. Uh, let's go ahead and continue to move forward. Let's get them to there and turn off the force. We can turn off their force. Uh, oh. Did not realize that we were... Oh, uh, just a sec. We actually are gaining on those guys. Did not realize. Um... Uh, those guys are in the hills. Take them off Force March. It would be nice to catch them, but I don't think we're going to. Uh, you guys keep moving. That's a level 10 general we want to get moving in there. Uh, They haven't called anybody else extra in. That's good. Um, let's bring you to here. And... Spinning wheels. Uh, that's fine. Let's bring you guys to there, you guys to there. You guys to there, you guys to there. Keep everybody spread out as much as we can to keep the, uh, the hits to our... Oh, pause, 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 Uh, just a second, just a second, just a second. What's happening right here? Oh, these guys are not loyal. Something's happened to make them unloyal. Uh, bribe. Okay, good. Uh, they are not locked in there. Um, they have 1,800 units sitting there, not happy. I'd like these guys to go this way, and these guys to go this way. And to kill that, and then we'll and then we'll make them hit us on the mountains, I think. Uh, let's get, if we're getting them there, let's make sure those guys are going there. And those guys are going there, so we can double hit in there. Uh, what's these guys' situation in here? Just out of curiosity. Defensively with Serdia, okay. Back to play. This will be uh, pretty big. This is... Okay, I don't... Okay, that was just an error then. I was wondering why, how there was units there, but it was saying there was units there, so I'm like, well, I better go kill them. And as it turned out, it was all for naught. Uh, let me turn off some of these force marches so that we can take morale ticks when needed. Um... You guys are headed to there. Okay. These guys are locked in. We could go ahead and hit them on the flatlands. Uh, we would hit them with so many troops that it would be ridiculous. I think I like that idea, actually. Let's play. Uh, 
I'd like these guys to be the last ones there in case we need to change tactics. 17th, 9th, 13th, 13th, and the 25th. Okay, that's fine. Uh, these, well, these guys will engage and then these guys can get there. There's no way they get out. Nope. So allow the engagement to occur. We'll take a quick look here. Uh, we have got a huge advantage on Phalanx against their uh, shock. Let's make sure these guys are on Phalanx as well. Oh, they are. So they won't change it. And this should be an absolute slaughtering. Yeah, well, only double. I thought it would have been worse than that. Alright, let me go with uh, you guys to there. You guys to there. You guys to there. Just basically moving everything forward. <clears throat> Sieging down what I can, looking up, loses the depressed trait. Oh, very nice. Sieging that. Uh, let's move you to there. Let's continue to move. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause, 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 pause. 26,000 stack. I prefer not to hit them in the mountains. Uh, pause. I want to continue to move this 10... Level 10 leader to there. Uh, get him in the forward lurches. You go to there. And uh, Where are the uh, fortresses, by the way? No fortresses. Wow. Not until we get to the capital. Essentially, so... Pretty vulnerable. Uh... Get you guys to there, you guys also to there, you guys to there. Let's get there. Uh, I apologize, the dog has clearly heard something outside and is unhappy about it. That's Rory for you. Um, <laughs> a little bit of interlude there just gonna keep just you guys gotta get back here just because we're trying to keep the the um pause we have a serious serious problem here uh i would like them to hit me in the mountains but with a little bit more support let me get force march on here and try to get out uh they get in on the 23rd 24th we get out on the 19th those guys are part of the war, Serdia? Yeah, so they're going to get hit. But because they're in the mountains, they'll, they'll, they'll have a mountain advantage. They'll be able to take a little bit of damage. That's 49,000 dudes, though. Uh, what I'd like to get done is... Um, I'd like to formulate them hitting me here uh, at all costs. So... Um... Those guys will get there no problem. I'm going to put these guys on Force March to get there for sure. Those guys as well. And this is a level 10 general back here that we will Force March in there as well. Uh, and these guys I'm going to bring to here. Uh, like that. And these guys like that as well. Basically racing to this point and hoping that we can get them to hit us with that big stack of units. Uh, half of them are mercs, looks like. Yeah, actually more than half. Okay. Supply limit's pretty light there, but we gonna do
Yeah, they're they're not they're not cooperating. I didn't think they would. Okay. So that's why I had these guys kind of stand still here. Um let's go ahead and pull you back and you back. And basically, the, the plan was always to stand on these two spots and and try and get them to hit me. So that's essentially what we're going to try and do. Is um, shame of a governor. Do, 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 do. Put it all on her. Get someone rest to kick her out. Is she a good governor? Uh, oh yes, yeah, she is. She's getting research points. Uh, more research points. Governor, governor, governor. Yeah, she's getting 20% research points. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the popularity hit, gain loyalty with her. Except, I'm gonna pause this for a second. There was one or a couple of little things here I wanted to do that I feel like are actually kind of important things to keep in mind managing the game um, as you're in the middle of wars, and that it was some citizen management. Uh, another 15 guys in here will go a long, long ways. So I'm going to go ahead and move. Uh, off the Just a second. Where, where are we moving them? Here, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're moving to Caress. I misread that for a second. Okay. Um, I just want to get this done here real quick because the opportunity <clears throat> to get another 5% discipline for free by trading away another iron is too delicious to pass up. So let's go ahead and two more. that this place now has 30 one two three thirty uh, giving us a third uh, iron what I'd also like to do is take advantage of having so many slaves in one spot by building some markets um, which will help bring up the civilization value and to make the um, citizens happier, but also create uh, a higher percentage tax increase on all the taxes that these guys are doing. So I'm actually going to crank it all the way up to 5, and I'm actually going to promote all of these freemen to citizens. Like that. And uh, create a nice little pocket in there. Uh, what's their citizen happiness at? It's 100% if everyone's converted and assimilated. Um, so these, uh, like that. Okay, uh, that's sorted out there. Um, we are not too far away from another military tick on our tech. A couple years, um, at which time I'll, I'll talk about potentially grabbing um, something. Maybe the enslavement efficiency. Uh, and then maybe we head down to heavy infantry discipline. There's not a lot of good stuff in this area for us, but some things, a lot of stuff that's good we've already grabbed, so. Um, so yeah, we're kind of in position here. Uh, is that four guys? That's 30,000 guys there. Um, let's move some more out. Um, but generally speaking, we're actually in pretty good shape. Uh, we've taken some land, definitely winning the overall, the battles are being won, and we want to try and get them to hit us here at this point. Um, so that's the plan, but I'm going to call it there for this episode. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying things are going well um, Militarily speaking they are at 138 core hearts. They've gone ahead and grabbed a whole boatload of mercenaries. It's costing them money. They don't have uh, Which means they're gonna take huge hits um, Their manpower has dropped off dramatically. So they've obviously probably made some units as well Um so mercs and made some units manpower is in a lot of trouble we've got them on the ropes for sure um, the rate at which they're making manpower is 615 but they're losing a massive amount of attrition 
we're making it at 624. That number's actually dropped. And we're taking a lot of attrition as well because we're in the mountains. Okay, that's it. Next episode, we'll continue this war and uh, try to get a peace agreement with the Macedonians. Until next time, bye-bye.